what's up i didn't do it all of you it also so happy sorry i'm late so today in this video we will see how can we get all the operators from a country by using riddle api in this previous video we learned how to generate authorization key for requesting the api so today we will learn how to get uh, all the operators from a country code so for uh, let's uh, start our tutorial so first of all let's add a text view here then let's add a button here so after adding these two things let's uh, name the button as get all operators from bd so i am using bd because my my country is bangladesh and my country code is bd so we have to use our own country code you can use uh, for india uh, maybe i n or i don't know idk i am just telling the thing so you can use pk for pakistan and us uh, us for usa and uk for united kingdom as a country code so if you don't know any of this country code just uh, search in the google then you will find the country code from there so after doing these things let's add a component called we will add a request network component and we will name it get get operators so we will name it get operators then we will just add it so after adding it we will click on get operator from bd then we will simply do what we will just add a new variable called map3 as you can see that uh, see this mm, that they just uh, used get method to get the operators and they didn't add at any uh, request body method to put something they just added at header method to put authorization key accept and content type so we'll use the we will use these things for our api so let's select map 3 here and add these two blocks sorry we have to add three of this block and we will select map 3 in each block after selecting them we will add it here then we will enter here as you can see the uh, this authorization we will enter here authorization authorization and then we will enter here you can see accept accept and you can see it here content type okay so after adding these things let's add a new block called set headers and select map3 here and request order will be get operators and select uh, start request method and we will use get method and into the url we have to paste the reload url and you can see that here is the country code so i will rename it to bd as it's my country code so as you can see that this you have to use sandbox environment if you are using it for test purpose or if you are using for live purpose you can you can use the official top up readly.com but if you are using it for test purpose you have to use sandbox environment i am telling you i am telling you it again so as we use sandbox environment here so a question arrives what we will give here i mean the value so before entering the value let me show you the response of the api so here you can see that it's a json it's a json structure and you we can see that there is a to, uh, there is a json where json key called access token so i have to get the access token from auth so let's go on response and let's add a new map variable called map4 just for that access token so we'll filter out that access token from that json structure so for doing that let's go to operators and we will put the json to map block here and we will uh, put the full json response to map variable 
so after doing this we will select map dot map get key block and we will select map for here then we will uh, type here access token access token so after entering access token access token here it will simply show the access token in the text view one instead of showing the full response so after doing this in authorization key we will add a join end block and after adding this we will type here bearer so after entering bearer here we have to go to we have to add, uh, get text get text view block so after adding it we will select text view one so here we are doing what we are just uh, giving the uh, access token to authorization and in the accept uh, accept uh, accept a key you have to enter this application slash com really something something you have to enter it here in the accept value so let's remove the mark from uh, syntax from here so in the content type we have to enter application slash json so it will generate the json from the server so after entering these things let's go to the get operators component and let's go on response and let's go to the set text block and let's pick up the text view to and let's keep the response here we can filter out the value by using the uh, by using json to map block and setting the response on your text view just like that so after doing this all things let's run our application so it's building and let's update the application so let's open it now so i will get the um, api authorization key after clicking it here so be, uh, sorry <laughs> i didn't enable the network service so let's use it now get api authorization so here you can see that it just generated the api authorization instead of the whole json structure so we can request now for get all operators from bangladesh so here you can see that we just got all operators from bangladesh and you can see that here first of all uh, here appears the airtel bangladesh and its operator id is 26 operator id is important for us in, uh, for using it and uh, for using it for many other purpose i will show you in the next tutorials so here you can see the all all uh, all operators from bangladesh airtel and then many of the uh, sorry because a operator con contains many kinds of json keys that's why you can't see the other operators as i can't uh, scroll down but many of the operators uh, operators has been added to here so you can see the airtel bangladesh share and others are in the down because i can't uh, scroll the screen that's why i can't show you that so thank you for the watch thank you for watching the video enjoy your read and please subscribe and press the bell icon for latest video and check the description for our upcoming tutorials thank you guys